Hello everyone, I'm Pastor John with Heights Church and we're sharing our daily Sum It Up with you and we're glad you have joined us. Uh, today's emphasis will also be on what Pastor has been preaching about how we need to unite for such a time as this. So if you've been a part of our online services, you've seen that one. And I hope and pray you'll kind of follow it carefully because he's very passionate about it and we appreciate the leadership he's given us. Uh, today's theme for me has been or is the love letter God has sent us. And I want to deal with the Bible, the love letter that he sent. God wants fellowship and he wants relationship with everybody. Um, he's inspired, chosen, and devout believers to write these love letters so all of us could read it and understand his heart. It's what we call, of course, the Holy Bible. It was written with the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Uh, believers like Moses, the judges, the kings, the prophets, and the apostles tell us about God's amazing love for mankind, for everybody. Everything we need for this life, this journey, is written in the Bible. It is the traveler's map, the pilgrim's staff, the pilot's compass, the soldier's sword, and the Christian's charter. Christ is its grand subject, Man's good is the design, and the glory of God, its end. It is a mine of wealth, the source of health, and a world of pleasure. Oh, how we love to read the scriptures, especially those ones that jump out at us and inspire us in that moment. It is God's will, or his, new te his testament, to man in all ages, revealing the plan of God for man here and now and in the next life. You know John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Car Dieu a tant aimé le monde qu'il a donné son Fils unique, afin que quiconque croit en lui ne périsse point, mais qu'il ait la vie éternelle. John 3.16 This is his love letter with many, many parts, yet it has such perfect harmony. All the writers gave perfect, harmonious testimony that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and the only Savior of the world. Old Testament believers looked ahead to the Messiah or the Savior. New Testament believers, that's us, look back to Jesus and the cross as our Savior and our soon coming King. My precious mother died at 57, but she, during her first pregnancy, was told by the doctor she had to do three months rest, the last uh, trimester. She read God's love letters over and over during that time. She became a great wife, a mother of nine children, a Bible teacher, a founder of two churches, and died singing to Jesus. She loved the word, she loved him, she knew God loved her. So, we challenge you to read his love letters for yourselves. Fall in love with Jesus Christ. Trust the one who loved you first and the most. You're his bride and he's coming back to get you. There's a wonderful passage in 1 John chapter 4. Anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for 
God is love. God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. It's a beautiful passage. Read all of it. We challenge you to be blessed today. We challenge you to fall in love with Jesus. We challenge you to read his love letters often. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.